um, I actually stole a little bit of Prana's um, uh, uh, sequence because this person that started as a client is actually my business partner now, and we're venturing into other things um, because she learned. She learned that how important it was. She was a student of the game. She didn't want me to do it all myself. She wanted to know every single step. So now we're, she's a partner of mine. So I think the biggest thing here to highlight is if you see the dates right here of the apps when they were submitted compared to the date of the decision and how many days it took, right? Right here, 92,000, submitted 10-6, approved 10-6, zero days, right? 11-2, approved 11-2, zero days, 95,000. 10-13, 10-13, instant approval, 100,000. 11-2 to 11-2, 37,500, instant approval. 17,000 right here on 11-7 to 11-8, one day, right? The longest one took seven days for 20K, right? Total funding right here awarded to this particular client right here, who's a part of 397,000. Her goal is 525. We only got 128 to go. We started this process 10-6. Today is 11.15. So from 10.6, October 6, until 11.15, so that's a week, that's that's five weeks, $397,000, 75%, 75.6% of the goal. So I am Tom Rand, Winston, that is me. That's my pretty picture right there. That's my model picture right there, right? Um, Master of Business Funding, that's what we do. Um, you know what I'm saying? So we're just gonna break in and just do a, a really quick uh, intro on some of the jewels that I've been able to acquire and, and teach really over the last uh, year or so. You know what I'm saying? If anybody can see that sign back there, that's 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 my mantra. That's 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 what I look at every day. When I'm gonna call or when I wake up or when I go to sleep, that's that 83,000, that's a million, right? So that's what we're pushing for, all right? So Master of Business Funding, who am I, right? Quick introduction. That's me, Tyron Winston, serial entrepreneur. Uh, business funding specialist, that is me. Probably likes to call me the funding guy, but it's a lowercase g, because it's spiritual, I wanna go to heaven. I wanna go to heaven, right? Uh, former former corporate professional. I, I spent most of my adult life in corporate America, right? I did have the uh, the moniker of that quote unquote, holy grail of six figures until they said, uh, and I'm saying the day, because I didn't own my job, right? I didn't own that position. We don't need you anymore. That's literally what happened. So I took it upon myself to say, okay, well, my family needs me. I gotta figure out how to make this work. And then the universe is perfect. Uh, you know, a, a person like PJ was able to come into my life and then, uh, you know, fast forward over a year now, and that's where we're here, right? So uh, he already gave me an amazing uh, launch path here, secured over a million dollars of business funding in about seven months. It's actually, I'm gonna show you guys a slide later. It's actually over a million. Um, and I'm actually working on some projects right now that keep that number going, all right? Currently, I run my own business funding company and I also uh, collaborate with Community Consulting, aka Bob Jones, on funding people inside of our business model together, right? So not only do I fund my own clients, but I partner with, uh, with, with Prada to fund outside clients as well, all right? What makes me special? I came from exactly the same place where all of you guys, all 119 of you are right now, right? Trying to figure it out, trying to figure it out, right? And coming from that place of trying to figure it out made it easier to try to help other people figure it out faster. All right. So my approach is like this. I take a systematic approach to the business funding. I look at it like a real life video game. All right. Start with the end of mind. Anytime we do a funding process or sequence or anything, one of the first conversations I have with anybody is how much do you want, but also how much do you need? And then from that point, we work backwards to figure out how we're going to get to that goal. So we reverse engineer the process. We make it actionable and we use proven steps that we know will work to get you to that end all be all goal. All right. So there's no fluff. There's no double taps on Instagram. There's, we're not doing this for likes. Matter of fact, I get beat up all the time because I need to enhance my social media presence. This is real life, right? And we use things that are actually working to make sure that we are successful. All right. Some of the gems and funding, we got five of them, at least five that I can break it down again to those, those easier steps. All right. We got to look at your goals. You got to look at your goals. Where do you want to finish right now? We're specifically talking about funding, but maybe you're not at the funding process right now. Well, where do you want to finish with your personal credit score? If you know where you got to hit, what do you have to do to get to that number? Okay. Number two, we got to look at the problems. What needs fixing and what hasn't worked before? That's the what, All right? So when we talk about the problems, a lot of times, a lot of us have gone out there and tried to get a business credit card. And, you know, either it's most often I hear two things. One, you were successful. Maybe you got a couple grand. Hey, I got 2000. I got 3000. Or you got denied. And you couldn't figure out why and you got that letter in the mail, but you didn't know how to fix it. All right. So what are the problems? What needs to get fixed? And then what didn't work before? Because if we find out what didn't work before, we just won't do that. But we'll also use that to troubleshoot how to make it work moving forward. All right. That leads us right into number three. We got to diagnose that problem. What are the weaknesses? And let's find some immediate solutions. That's the why. All right. 
we got to figure out again why didn't we get the big limit that we wanted why didn't we get the uh the, the, the amount even if you did get approved why didn't we get the amount that we wanted all right where did we go wrong and let's use that as positive information it's all information let's use this information to have a troubleshoot and go to the next level okay and then from there we design a sequence step by step plan that's the how all right step by step breaking it down is 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 as is, is finite as what state you live in what street you live on all right what's your ethnicity maybe there's some special programs for melanated people less melanated people people of color people of, uh, of different descents okay we look at different relationships that you already have with particular banks maybe on the personal side and on the business side all that comes into play all right that's the how and then finally try to land with this if you don't take action you're basically just wasting your time your consuming information has no value to it whatsoever because all it is is just information right information doesn't get profitable until you actually put it in motion it's like a car without tires you're not ferrari in the driveway but if you ain't got the tires on it you just got a big matchbox car that's taking a space all right options and assessing needs all right these are some of the big ones all right personal credit Ron said it already, right? We're going to be hearing a lot about that in the next two days, but it all starts with a, a personal, strong personal credit profile, not necessarily the score, but all the stuff that goes into the score, okay? We want to look to make sure that you're hitting all the optimal points that the banks like to see. From there, we bid you on to the business structure. Is your business structured properly? And when we say business, okay, it's an entity, right? It can be an LLC, an INC. Uh, those are the two major ones that we're going to be using for our funding projects. Is it structured properly? Do you have all the sauce, all the meat, all the bells and whistles that you're supposed to have to be bank facing? Do you look like a business that the banks wants to work with? All right. From there, we're going to be losing our banking relationships, both on the personal side and the business side. And guess what? If we don't have them already, we're going to build them. Okay. We're going to build those relationships because at the end of the day, banking, funding, financing is a relationship business. And we can go deep into that. That's not for the purpose of this particular call, but again, flourishing those relationships and we can teach you how to do that. All right. And then we'll go into time frame, right? Maybe you do got six months that you can stack a middle. Maybe you got six weeks and you got to find 150,000 to keep your business afloat. All right. Maybe you got less than that and you got everything in place, but there's something there that's just not clicking and you need some help. All right. That goes into the determination. How bad you want it? How bad do you really want this stuff? Are you going to spend the time to do all the steps that it takes? Or are you going to skip steps because it's too hard? I'm not going to ask that question for you, right? So what we noticed uh, that are going to be the, the biggest hits and, and the most fluid and the most flexible options, you're going to be looking at lines of credit. I like to go 50K and above. There's a sweet spot there, right? But starting at that 50K, oops, I'm following this. And then of course, business credit cards, we love that 0% interest, all right? That's a gold mine. It's not free money, but it's as close to free as you're going to get where you have six months, 12 months, 18 months to use X amount of do uh, dollars, right? 10,000, 50,000, 100,000 to the purposes of building more and then building more and building more. And again, with the, so many other coaches that are going to come in on the call, they're going to be teaching you exactly what that looks like when you actually do get the funding. Time tested options, all right? You know, the strategies, man, it's three. There's no reason to make this over complicated. We got to build relationships with banks, right? That could be in a lot of different forms. It could be going in person, open up different bank accounts, open up different products, right? Uh, you, you want them to see your face. You want them to hear your voice. And if can, you want that vice versa, that interaction, that human connection. You do want to build relationships, both internally and also external, okay? You want to research these banks. You want to research these lending institutions. You want to see what kind of products that they have to offer. We call it vetting the bank, vetting the bank, okay? You want to know if that bank is a good fit for you, if that lending institution, if it's not a bank, is a good fit for you, if that product is a good fit for you. And if it's not, okay, we're going to put a strategy around it. But if it is, that's what we're going to be really working on to make sure you get some success. All right. We're going to, this is really streamlined the, the strategies that we use. It's not a free for all. Okay. This is a sniper type of situation that we're entering into. It's not a machine gun. All right. One shot, one kill, we get what we got to get. And then we look to see how we can escalate and then optimize moving forward, all right? And of course, at all at all costs, just keep that personal credit profile clean. There's a lot of different strategies that you need to implement to make sure it stays clean. Because as you go through the funding process, you are going to be doing what's called a PG, that's a personal guarantee. Your reputation on your personal credit profile is what's going to allow you to win funding for your business. But if that's not clean, again, you're not going to get what you are looking to get to grow and take it to the next level financially, all right? So the proof is always in the pudding, right? Uh, but, you know, success has receipts, proof of concept. We want to see how that works. So I'll just show mine first, okay? This is uh, my journey. Uh, I, I stopped this, this uh, bracket at May 23, but I actually started funding again. Uh, actually, two two weeks ago, I just got uh, no, 95,000 instant approval, no docs on a new entity 
on the shelf court, but that's a little advanced uh, kind of strategy right there. Um, but this is my journey right here. My first client, that's me. I'm my first client. So we're looking at October 22, all the way to May 23. I got the approval numbers, the number of approvals, and also got the amounts right there, right? You can see the total number, 1.2 mil, okay? And then of course, I've been able to bridge that into different business ventures. Brad, I mentioned uh, quite a few of them, a lot of them right now being real estate, um, you know, trucking opportunities, uh, obviously, you know, owning my own funding company, owning my own credit repair company. Uh, so I'm looking at different ventures right now. Right now I'm in business acquisition and learning how to buy revenue, buy revenue that's already being generated. So I don't have to recreate the wheel. Okay. That's what you can do when you can secure the amount of funding that gives you more options. Money gives you options. Money gives you options, right? The love of money, they say, is the root of all evil, but that's from people that never had it. All right. I'd rather be evil and be comfortable than happy as hell and be broke. All right. So we teach you exactly how to do that. More recently, this is actually from a recent client that I'm working with right now. And um, I actually stole a little bit of Prada's uh, 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 sequence because this person that started as a client is actually my business partner now. And we're venturing into other things um, because she learned. She learned that how important it was and she was a student of the game. She didn't want me to do it all myself. She wanted to know every single step. So now we're, she's a partner of mine. So I think the biggest thing here to highlight is if you see the dates right here of the apps when they were submitted compared to the date of the decision and how many days it took, right? Right here, 92,000 submitted 10-6, approved 10-6, zero days, right? 11-2, approved 11-2, zero days, 95,000. 10-13, 10-13, instant approval, 100,000. 11-2 to 11-2, 37,500 instant approval. 17,000 right here on 11-7 to 11-8, one day, right? The longest one took seven days for 20K. And that's and that's actually my fault because uh, I didn't see an email that they were looking for more information. It would have been maybe two days that I saw the email, went to my spam, all right? And then even this one, 25,000, took three days to get that approved, all right? Her funding, this is a young lady too, by the way, out of Kentucky, not even in the same state, I'm in New York City, all right? Total funding right here awarded to this particular client right here, who is, again, now with this part of 397,000. Her goal is 525. We only got 128 to go. We started this process 10-6. Today is 11-15. So from 10-6, October 6, until 11-15, so that's a week, that's that's five weeks, $397,000, 75%, 75.6% of her goal. Proof is in the pudding, right? This is what happens when you have a well-optimized and structured business profile and a streamlined personal profile. You're basically dictating your own success. You're not leaving anything to chance. Now, here's something else. Here's something else. These approvals, zero days, zero days, zero days, one day, seven days, three days. The work before took about six weeks. So when she first got introduced to me as a client and worked through her intake and onboarding, it took about six weeks for us to collaborate to fix her credit profile. She had too many inquiries. She had addresses that weren't to be on the profile. There was, uh, you know, stuff with her name that she had to change. It wasn't optimal. All this stuff you'll learn if you're in the Discord and also you learn if you're in the mentorship. Um, I took all those skill sets and, set, and rather than just throw to the wall and see what happens, I'm like, listen, I'm going to charge you XYZ as a service fee. But because of that, and I know it's, it's not cheap, we're going to walk you through step by step to make sure that not only you get the funds you need, but I get paid for my service as well. We're not going to fund right away, but when we do, it's going to be fast. But we're going to have to do the work to earn the right to get these kind of approvals. So all the stuff that you see here is a combination of the six weeks of work that it took to make her credit profile go from a 696 FICO on Experian to an 827 and get instant approvals for almost every single thing that she touched. Proof is in the pudding. Proof of concept. All right. Fact and impact. 80 20 more guys. All right. Really three big things that I preach when we're doing the Discord calls, we're doing the mentorship calls. It really comes down to being methodical. It really comes down to holding on to a couple different principles, right? Be a student of the process, right? The game is constantly changing. It's changing as I'm speaking to you now. Every single time that you put in an app, guess what? That AI, that underwriter, they're changing it up. It is getting harder and harder and harder. If you're not a student of the game and you're looking at last year's info, two years ago's info, you're already lost, all right? Seek mentorship, seek help. I didn't get this far doing it by myself, right? Even the people right now that I have the honor and the blessing to coach, I'm mentoring them, but I still have coaches and I still have mentors and I still have people I call, all right? Change your mindset about money. Um, unfortunately, nobody teaches us this. Money's a tool. Debt is a tool. Not all debt is bad. Matter of fact, most debt is good if you know how to leverage it, all right? Changing your mindset about exactly what this can do rather than how you feel about feelings don't mean shit. Um, well, I don't even care. Feelings don't mean anything. Throw your feelings in the garbage and look at the data, right? And then from that data, 
formulate a plan for success. And if it doesn't work, figure out why it didn't work, get right back in there and that goes into taking action. None of this makes sense if you don't take action. It's just a waste of time and really pretty words from a guy with a bald head and a beard. All right. And then finally, let's just get started. Let's get started. That's my WhatsApp. That's my number right there. Hit me on the WhatsApp. Um, that's my direct email. This is the link to the Discord. I actually put it in the chat already. I'll do that again for anybody that's not in the Discord and wants to sign up. And um, I don't know. I don't know how much time I got left, brother. But uh, did you want to do Q and A, or we're going to the next speaker? Yeah, that's it, man. We ain't got enough time, man. That was amazing. You know, Q and A. If anybody wants Q and A, all you got to do is see my brother on Wednesdays bi-weekly. All right. If you're new to the Discord, it's a two-week trial, free, two weeks trial. You can catch him at least one Wednesday off of that two-week trial that asks all the questions that you want. All you want. All the questions that you want. Bring it. Bring it. If I don't know, I'll figure it out, but I do know a lot. <laughs>